Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the view routing. So now we have entered into a new concept that is routing, how to implement the routing in the um, view 3 composition API. So first we instead of checking uh, with the direct uh, router library, which is available view router 4. First we will see how we can achieve a simple routing from the scratch. We'll try to see it. So we will design a simple routing fully featured now. Nah, so if you don't want to have a fully featured uh, library, so if you want to de develop a simple routing from scratch means so we can use the concept of dynamic components and we can use the hash change events or using the history API, we can use it and we can do it. I will try to show you how we can do it. This one it's simple. We'll do and afterwards in the next video notes, we'll do with the view router, how we can implement how actually the system works. We'll try to see it. So first I'm installing, I'm creating a new project in a minute, view at the rate latest. So we can write it like this so that it will ask you for the creation of the project. So why I'm showing you this one is, so I will uh, host this one into the, into our GitHub thing and I will post the URL at the bottom so that you can take this uh, branch and you can check that uh, code. So for the previous videos, I have we didn't posted this anything code, right? From here onwards, I will post the code. So it will be asking you some, some couple of questions. So let it ask. So it has asked you for the project name. So I am writing it as you router. Okay. And TypeScript no, JSX no, you router no, Kenya management and all things no. And we, we have done it. So let's go to the view router. And I am doing the npm install. So let's do the npm install. <clears throat> npm install is also done let's go to the visual studio code so i am moving to the visual studio code i am opening this visual studio code and here what i will try to do is so we are trying to write a simple routing library right i am not installing anything and i will run this npm run dev npm run dev okay so let's go here and here in the source i am creating a new folder with the name pages pages so these are pages and here i will be having i will create a simple three pages only i will not go too much far i will create a simple three pages so so in these pages i am creating a new uh, components first one is the home dot view and the next one is about dot view about dot view and the last one is the not found so that we can able to have this one not found dot view so these are the three templates and here I will have template template so I will write here the template and here I will have view home page that's it so just I want to have simple thing let's save this one and here I will be having about page and the last one is the not found page page not found And here, this one is a not found page. So I'm writing here page not found. That's it. So here we are having about.view, home.view. And let's move on to the other topic. So we have created the three pages. And let's move on to the other one. Let's create the routes. Mm, we will move on to the app.view. Okay. App.view. So which is a very plain. And did we run this NP run dev? Yeah. So let's open this one. Here I will refresh this page and we are able to see the welcome page. Okay, scaffolding. Now if we go into this one and here this is our page, right? And I am removing this one all app.u and I am creating a template. And here we'll be having a script. Script setup. Okay. And what I will try to do is first time, so I will create the routes. So we are designing a simple routing from scratch. Constant routes is equal to, so we will be having an object. So when you have the home, uh, sorry, uh, slash, it needs to open the home page. And let's remove this home view and we'll have just home. And the another one is, uh, when anybody has this about, then we need to open about about view by this one about view is coming yeah 
and about page so we have defined the routes now the current path so we need to get the current what constant current path is equal to window dot location dot hash okay window dot location dot hash and this one should be a ref so we will be having this one as a ref yeah and what i will do before doing this one let's go to the template and here i will be having the div and in this div we will be creating the very uh, what i can say the ul and here we will be having li and ahref is equal to uh, so hash slash sorry hash slash and this one is home and the second one is about and the last one is some broken link okay not found page and here i will give some random name and here we will be having about that's it so these are the three things if i show you the output if i click on the home page about page broken link means page not found so here i need to show the particular page home page about page and here broken link means page not found we need to show it how we can show so here we are catching this hash variable so that is the that is the reason i am using so here i am catching the hash variable so that is nothing but window dot location hash i am using this one so now what i will try to do i want to listen to the change so window dot add event listener of hash change whenever the uh, hash is changing then i need to execute here so what i want to do is so whenever this one is changing so current path dot value current path dot value is so i need to update with the window dot location dot hash sorry window dot location dot hash so i need to update the new hash that's it now i want to load this current view <laughs> okay we let's take a constant current view depending on the hash change we need to get the page current page or anything current component or current view whichever you want so it's a computed file it's a computed property so here what i will try to do i will try to return the routes so whatever the hash is there so hash means you will be getting hash slash about right so i need to remove the hash so for removing this hash what i will do current path dot value dot slice of one so it will remove the first value so if it is not there means then what i will do so i will simply load the home page and if it is not there means then i will load not found okay so not found you instead of having not found view we will load not found that's it so here we are using routes of this one routes of this one means routes of the slash i am trying to capture slice of one i am using or otherwise we simply will be loading this one and or not found not found that's it so now here for loading this one what we will do here we can have a do and we'll be having a component and i can write here is uh, what we will do is current view okay so that's it now let's see the output if you refresh this page i think some problem came let's see what is the problem in the console or uh, okay computer is not defined and so we'll get this type of issues not a problem so computed yeah is this one yeah now if you see the output here now we are able to see home page about page and broken link page not found so now if i am the home page and if i refresh this page so now you are directly on the about page so this is a simple route which we have developed it from the scratch so we are listening to the hash change whenever this hash change is happening the current view we are trying to load it from the routes here so this is how we can create a simple routing without using the routing library so this one is a simple thing if you want more facilities and more features and all those things we'll use the view router thing so before proceeding to the before installing the view router and all those things i want to explain you a simple thing so that is the reason i have created the i have in, i have used this one so this all the code and all those things i will try to add it in the github let's open the github <coughs> uh, let's uh, load this github.com and what i will do is i will create a new repository so long back i am creating again one new repository so view composition router okay so here i will create this repository now here so we need to push this existing repository right so i will copy this one and here we will create and here we can have git init okay and i am i am pasting this via this one 
and the next one what we need to do so we need to rechange uh, this uh, master to main okay we will rechange it and i am adding all those things okay so i will i am adding all those things and i will commit oh this one is a main right so we can create a new branch hit switch uh hyphen c so what could be the video right now so i will create with a video hyphen 51 not 52 so from video hyphen 52 so i have created new one so i will commit these all the things git add uh, and git commit hyphen m so video hyphen 52 or something like this i am writing so i will push this all the changes that's it so here git push hyphen u or otherwise we can do it like this so i am pushing these all the changes <clears throat> so let it push and here you can be able to see the changes so i think my most hopefully we will, we will be able to see the changes page not found main is invalid yeah here we are able to get it video hyphen 52 okay so now if you want to check this for this video these changes you can able to check this one so here you will be having the source and in this source you will be able to have the pages so whatever the code we have written we will be able to see so now from now onwards i will create the github repository for each branch and i will provide it in the below comment url you can check out the code if you want to do it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you